In this episode, I'm going to give you five practical examples of the exposure triangle. Apologies for repeating myself there. These examples tell you how to use the exposure triangle to correct a photo that is too light and one that is too dark. I also tell you how to use the exposure triangle to get a correct exposure with a faster and slower shutter speed. And I'll tell you what I do as well. Okay, let's get straight into these five examples. Now I'm not going to lie to you. I'm reading these out because I've written them down because what I've found is when I try to ad-lib this I always get something wrong. I'm reading these out and I'm not apologising for it because this is, this is good stuff, trust me. Number one. You took a photo but it is too dark. So what do you do? Take another photo but this time pick a slower shutter speed to let more light in. Alternatively, choose a wider aperture, which is a smaller number of course, to let more light in. If you don't want to change these settings, increase the ISO to make the sensor 